Hello and welcome to a Broken Tippet fly tying video. Today we're going to be looking at the whip finish tool. We're going to figure out what this tool is used for and how do we use it. Well, the whip finish tool is used to complete a fly. You're essentially putting a knot into the thread so we can then cut it away and walk away from the fly. Now, the whip finish tool itself is broken into a few key parts. You have the hook at the front, followed by the bar with an indentation at the back. The handle itself is stationary, while the front part will swivel on this ball point here. Now, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna keep the whip finish tool in my right hand, and I'm gonna grab the bobbin with my left. My first move is going to be to expose four to five inches worth of thread from the bobbin. I'm gonna take my whip finish tool in my right hand, I'm gonna put that hook over top of that thread, stabbing the thread down. You can see how it's applying pressure there. With my left hand, I'm gonna wrap the thread around that indentation that we looked at earlier, just like so. So just to restart that, stab your thread, wrap the bobbin around that indentation. Now you'll notice that my hands are below the hook and they're quite close to the hook itself in general. My next move is going to raise that bobbin up so it is running parallel with the hook shank. Now I still have pressure on the whip finish tool. The thread is still wrapped around both those parts. With my right hand, all I'm gonna do is raise it up and you'll notice that the whip finish tool swiveled and is now facing upside down and we've created what looks like a four or an X in the thread. Now I can play around with this and I can lower it and raise it depending on how much thread I allow to move through the tool and the bobbin. So for what we're gonna do here to, to, to tie this off is I'm gonna lower that X right down to the hook shank itself. With my right hand, I'm gonna come underneath the hook shank and we're gonna do one complete revolution with the whip finish tool. Now to complete a fly, you're gonna do about three or four complete revolutions. So there's two, three, four. Now to put the knot into the thread, I'm gonna raise that hook point. So you can see how I can raise that hook and that indentation, that thread is gonna slip out. And now with my left hand, I can pull back on the bobbin which is gonna bring the thread and that hook down towards the fly. Once it touches, I can slide the thread outside of that hook and we have now put the knot into the thread and we can essentially cut the thread away and we're complete. I'm gonna do this one more time to show you. So I have four to five inches worth of thread exposed. I'm gonna stab the thread with the hook come behind here, wrap that thread around that indentation, raise my bobbin so it's parallel to the hook, raise the whip finish up, which flips it upside down and we create that number four or the X. I'm gonna bring that indentation or the intersection of the thread down to the hook shank where I'm gonna go underneath and wrap with a few revolutions around then I can lift the hook up, which will slip that thread out from the indentation. I'm gonna pull back with my left hand, which is gonna bring that hook down, and I can then slip out. It's very easy, but I do recommend practicing a few times just like I have here today. Thank you for watching another Broken Tippet video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Fish on.